and this is a good one. What, with the impact of inflationary pressures on my retirement, are there any steps I can take to insulate my portfolio and or my lump sum, or is it best to just do nothing and weather the storm? That's a great question. That's probably been the uh, most prevalent conversation that I've been having this year in 2022 and why it's a lot of our clients have felt good about their investments this year. And we have an entire webinar on this. I'd encourage you to watch related to value investing. Historically, value stocks have done better than growth stocks in every decade, except for this most recent decade. And there's a variety of reasons for that. So if you just had to pick one style of stock to invest in for your lifetime, that'd be value stocks. Furthermore, in inflationary environments and more specifically rising interest rate environments, like we've seen both of this year, value stocks historically have substantially outperformed growth stocks. Unfortunately, when you buy an index fund, you're basically getting a little bit of everything. In fact, the in indices overweight growth stocks compared to value stocks. But what we do at the retirement group is look at great companies and only purchase the ones that are selling for a reasonable price. And then we reevaluate that on an ongoing basis. This year, more than probably any year in my 11 year career with the retirement group, that's been more important because of the inflationary pressures. And there's reasons for that we can talk about on a one on one basis why interest rates, rising interest rate environment are bad for growth stocks. But I would say, uh, talk to one of our advisors, or if you already have an advisor, talk to them about the implications of rising interest rates and inflation on the stock market. And you may want to make some changes in your 401k. You may want to consider an in-service rollover, which is where you take money from your 401k and move it to either an IRA or Roth IRA while you're still working. You may want to consider utilizing the brokerage link if you're not doing so yet, which Fidelity allows for employees that have money in the Chevron ESIP plan. Uh, but my best advice would be to first watch our value investing webinar series and then maybe just schedule a 10 or 15 minute call with one of our Chevron folks and advisors so we can talk more specifically about your situation and maybe shed, shed some light on how you can help protect and grow your funds better in the plan.